Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 4 on the final part of this RMS Mauritania tutorial. Uh, today's focus will be the ship's funnels, lifeboats, uh, stern details, docking bridge and things like that. Uh, basically all the little detail to finish this thing off. Um, and then we can call it a day. Uh, first job of the day is to do the funnels. And if you look at the prototype here, I've changed it up a little bit. Um, you've probably noticed that these funnels are not sort of the red I normally use. I've decided to change it to uh, orange terracotta I think it is. Uh, where is orange terracotta? Terracotta. Uh, is it that one? Must be that one. So we'll go with orange terracotta. It's sort of a more Cunard style colour of the ear if you know what I mean. Because I know today's Cunard is, is, very, is very much red but Cunard colours of the day were sort of orange funnels. So we'll go with that. So to begin the first funnel what we're going to do, we're going to go to the second deck house on the top. So you've got this first deck house here with all the grills on it. Go to the front of that and we're going to add a colour block in the centre, so I use a yellow block for that. Actually, I use a, use a different colour. I use a proper red colour for that one. Uh, use proper red. So one block back from the front on the wood, so put that centre block there. And for the funnel itself, it's going to be three wide, so one either side like that. And then out two, two, back two, and then back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then back three. One, two, three. And then two, two and one like that <clears throat> and then the same the other side out two two back two back six one two three four five six and then one two three one two one two there we go so there's the base of our first funnel and then go to the next deck house along which is sort of the same we'll add the same design again so on the center we'll add one block back on the wood add the center block there and it's the same again three wide bonk bonk and then out two two back two and then one two three four five six and then one two three one two one two same the other side out two out two back two back one two three four five six three two two one there we are so there's the placements for our two funnels there we go so what we'll do we'll focus on the first funnel because both of them are exactly the same so we'll do this funnel and then we can do a jump cut and sort that one out so they're both exactly the same so what we're going to do now, on the centre of the front of the funnel, we're going to build the red, uh, or the orange, whatever, you're going to build it up seven, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then back one, and then in black, up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. So that's the design you want for the funnel. And then you're going to want to build that exact same design on all the blocks shown. So build the same design we just shown, the up seven, eight, seven, on that block, that block, and that block, and then on there as well. And then on the back, do the same on that point, that point, that point, and then across the back, like so. So, do the same design. I'll do the first few, and then I can do a copy paste because it's very much a very simple design. And I'll do one side of the funnel as well just to get it out of the way. Shouldn't take too long, actually. And very scaled back, well not scaled back tutorial, but we can, try, we can get a lot more in these builds now, because I don't do each video daily now, I do a video every sort of, over the course of a few days, and I can get more into them then, more enthusiasm. So that's the front half of the funnel, so do the same at the back, so it's up two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the eight, and then the seven again, that's the same height now, yeah, that's fine. Just get the, the slant, it's basically, it, with the, you can see we're getting the slant of the funnel done and then we've got to do a bit more slanting as well with the top of the black and also the black lines as well. We'll sort those out after we get the funnel built. Do the centre point as well. There we go, so there's the bulk of the funnel done. And so far should look something like that. And the colour doesn't look that great to be honest. I prefer the red, but this is more accurate, I suppose. So what we do now, go on the inside and just fill in all the gaps. Like so. Do the same at the back as well. And then the big side panel. Let me do the same for the big panel, like I was saying. Very dull, very boring, but it has to be done. Now 
There we go. So there's the first half of the funnel done. That's one side. And it should, in theory, look something like that. And it don't look too bad. Um, very basic in terms of what we're going to end up with, but you know, you can do the other side as well. I'll do the other side um, in a jump cap, but I just want to get this sort of laid out. So what we're going to do now is slant the black at the top. So if you look at it side on, you can see if you look at it straight side on it, what you can do, count back to the seventh, no, count back to the eighth block. So you leave the first seven, so count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then from the eighth block, remove the, remove eight blocks, remove seven blocks. So that's the seventh block there. And then from the eighth block, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus the middle block like that. And that slants the top down by one block, like that. And then we do the same on the row below. So from the... Uh, from the bottom of the black, go down one to the orange, so down to this point here, and then count back again. Actually, get you go from this point here, I think. Yeah, go from the front of the orange, so you count back the same again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then from the eighth block, you replace it with orange, uh, replace it with black. So, you go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you have to make it eight as well. So, there you go, so it's eight blocks like that. There you go. So you leave seven, and then replace eight because it's on the slanty point of the of the of the funnel. It's a bit awkward to sort of do, but it's, let me just double check that. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then replace it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, because it's on because it's on the a, a, a slant, but that's how it should look anyway. So it's it's slanting anyway, and then for the black lines, which are also awkward, you're gonna go from the bottom on the front or from the side again. And we're going to count up to the fifth block up from the bottom. So this is the front again. So one, two, three, four, five. And we replace blocks. So we replace the first seven. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then to the eighth block and down one, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like that. And there you go. So there's the first line added. And then you count up again from there, you count up to the sixth block up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and do the same again. So replace one, two, three, four, five, six, down one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight, because it's on a slanty again. So there we go. And uh, there we go. Just look a bit odd, but of course. We've got these extra bits that hang down. It's a bit, uh, sounds a bit odd, actually, doesn't it? Mm, not much we can do, really. So what's the prototype look like? The prototype actually makes it one block longer. So what we can do, this top line, we can extend it by one block like that. And then take away the orange so it looks a bit more uniform. No, yeah, don't look too bad, do it? So that's the uh, one side of the funnel. What we can do then is also add the centre blocks as well. So they've got to change the colour of the stripes. Although these will be, the front ones will be covered up. So that's that bit, and then do the same on the back, like so, and like so. There we go. So that's the first funnel half done. So what I shall do now, I shall do a jump cut while I copy this across to the other side, and I'll also do the other funnel as well because they're both exactly the same. And then we can uh, move on from there. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's our funnels in place, and they both should look something like that, and they don't look too bad. You know, the colours, you can sort of do your own thing with them, but that's how I've done them. And uh, like I said, I've done the other side as well, <coughs> so they should look like that all the way around. Now, for the major details, we're going to add the ladders to the front, so we're going to get our ladder, which is that thing there, and then we're going to add a black line on the front of the funnels up to the bottom, up, up to the top of the orange. So we we'll go from the bottom all the way up, and then up to the top of the orange like that, and then we'll add the ladder to that. Do this with both funnels like that, and then at the top of the funnel, uh, top of the black or bottom of the black, rather, we get our cobblestone wall, and then we'll put a couple of whistles. There you go. I'm not sure if, if this ship had whistles or is it a, f a horn. Uh, don't think it really matters, does it? But we'll put those on there like that, and uh, that's that bit of detail. And then on the inside of the funnel at the top. We're going to add the grill, which I normally use uh, grey wool for this one. So we go inside, and one down from the top, and one back. Go one, two, three, four, five, and then one back again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back one again, and then down one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
backward again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, back one again, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll back one again, net, net, net. There we go. I'm not sure this is accurate either. I think this is probably mostly covered up with a few flumes rather than a grill, but that's what I normally use. So that's that one there. That's the first funnel. So do the same with the other funnel. I'll add the ladder. I don't need whistles on, <coughs> whistles on this one. We just add our black line to the front of the orange with the ladder. Don't need the whistles, like I say. And then just add the grill along the top as well. So that's the ladder. And then the grill on the inside. As I say, it's probably covered up and then just added a flue rather than the grill, but it's open to interpretation how you want to do these things. And there we go. There's our funnels done. <laughs> For all I care about, anyway, because <laughs> I'm not going to do no more with them. And uh, they don't look too bad. No. So that's the funnels all done. So, um,. No, they don't look too bad. Pretty ship. So yeah, have a quick look around. The silhouette of the ship is pretty much complete. Still got the stern details and lifeboats to do. But um no, she ain't looking too bad. So what I'm gonna do now, just one more little bit of detail before we move on, just to get our quartz blocks because we need to build a bit more on the superstructure. Um on the front of the superstructure, the below uh, blow the bridge wings. Uh so the bridge wings here. This is on the right hand side, just in front of the bridge support pillar there. Or bridge wing support pillar. I'm going to build a wall around the front of the front of the superstructure. This is just on the front of it. Don't need to do, don't need to do down the sides. So we just get the front out of the way. Round from pillar to pillar. This is just below the bridge wing, like so. So you've got a wall there, and then on the deck below, right at the bottom of the pillar pillars on the side here, just do the same again on this deck. Add a wall all the way around. All the way around, Ooh, up to the stairs, and then the same on the other side, like so. Round from pillar, pillar to pillar, without doing too much damage. And then there we go. There we are. So there's our wall added there. Marvelous, beautiful. There we are, that little job done. Um, you, can add, you can add a few doors or windows to this as well now, because this deck down here where the cargo hatches, there needs to be a few windows, so we'll just add the same as what we did on the previous deck, so we'll just add sort of three windows between the stairs like that, and then sort of a couple around the side like that. There isn't a huge amount you can do because of, of the curved wall, but you can sort of improv a bit. And there you go. And that's that little job done there. Meh. Meh, looking good. So that's that uh, job done there. I'm glad the folks was all done. Glad the pain in the ass, but now the funnels are done. That front's done. So what we're gonna do now? Do another jump cut while I work out what to do, and then we can move on. So back in a moment. Okay, back again. So what we're gonna do now is work on the details on the back of the ship, which will include the docking bridge and loads of other stuff. So I'm gonna start with the <laughs> docking bridge first. Gonna to go to the top deck on the back here, which is two decks up from the bottom. So we've got one deck there, one deck there, and then the top deck here. Go to the centre block here on the back end, and we're going to add a wall which is sort of a rectangle, which is nine wide. So one in the middle, and then one, two, three, four that way, one, two, three, four that way, three forward at the sides, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and then across the front, like so. So there's a rectangle, and then build that to three high, and then, 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 all the way around, like so. Two high and then three high again. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. So that's our docking bridge foundation done. And then from the top, you, the back wall and the front wall really increase to four high. Like so, the front wall and the back wall, or the back wall and the front wall like that. And then from the ends of those front walls, you're going to build out to the side. Uh, 13, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then forward 3, or back 3, which is where you're going, and then back in again to attach to the other wall, which is 4 high. There you go, so that's one side there. Same the other side out 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Might as well do the same way this way. 13 out, and then across to join the other ones up. There you go. 
there's your docking bridge done like that and then you can add the deck which will go in this space here so it's basically all just wood so I should use the fill tool to do this otherwise it takes too long actually I can do it by hand because it's only a narrow so it's not too bad like so and uh, there you go, not too bad. And then you just add another wall around the outside. Like so. And uh, there, not too bad. And there we go. There's our docking bridge done like that. And then underneath, sort of the last four blocks on the side of the deck, you just build them up to attach to the bottom of the docking bridge. Like so. There you go, so you've got that section there like that. I don't look too bad. Let's do the same on the other side. So the last four blocks of the deck build up to attach to the bridge. Like so, and there we go. Marvellous. Kind of like a real spoiler, doesn't it? <laughs> um, what we can do now is we're going to have to add some stairs. The stairs on this thing I don't actually exist because they didn't have them on the prototype model. I didn't have them on any photographs, so we'll leave the stairs for now. If you can fit some stairs on there, then you're doing better than me, but uh, we'll leave them for now. What we'll do now, go to the front centre block of the docking bridge. So the fr front centre block is there, so I'll mark that one out. And then from there, we're going to add some vents. We're going to count five, forward five, so on the wood, one, two, three, four, five. And then out two, one, two, and build the vents up four high. So one, two, three, four, one forward. And then to the other side of the block, go one, two, and then one, two, three, four, and one forward. And there you go, there's your two vents. And I think then you can actually add some stairs to the front of the docking bridge. So I'll just quickly do that. It, it does bug me that it doesn't have any, so we'll add some stairs to the front of said docking bridge. Like so, and add banner steels, banner steels, banner steels. Ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it does bug me that I don't have them, but there we go. Um, and then from there, go back to the block between the two uh, two vents, and we're going to add a cargo hatch, and we're going to count three forward from there. So three blocks, no, four blocks forward. So one, two, three, four. We'll add our cargo hatch, which is one uh, nine wide. Sorry, so it's one, two, three, four from the center. One, two, three, four the other way. So nine wide. And then the sides are nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then back across the middle, like right, so, or to the other side. And then along the middle, we'll add the spine, which is like that. So there's our hatch, and then we we'll get our quartz slabs and just cover up the hatch on both sides. This is just a little design that I like to do. And it hasn't really changed in four years or so. So then you just add this design. Do the same on the other side. And there we go. There's our hatch done there. Alright, then we're going to add some cranes. There will be another hatch in a minute, but we're sorting cranes out first. So the cranes are going to go from the front of the cargo hatch. You're going to count forward four. So one, two, three, four to that point. That's the center block. And then we're going to count out uh, ten to the side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And put a block there for the first crane. And then the same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Block there for the other crane. So there's your two points that you want for the cranes. You can get rid of that middle block. And the cranes themselves are twelve high. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like that, so it's a pole. And then the arm of the crane, there's gonna be two arms, one facing forward, one facing back. On the third block up, you're gonna build forward five rows of three so one two three 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 I believe that's right yep and then we'll add a black block on the end like that and then the same on the back five rows of three one two 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 three yep and that's fine and then a black block on the end like that and there we go so there's our cranes 
kind of like uh, I don't know and then we get our handrails or our iron bars and add a bit of rigging down from the top so from the top we go dunk and then down diagonal like so to the crane arms themselves these are very finicky like that finicky things to add because just so much of a <laughs> I'll keep doing it keep a pain in the ass these things though down like so and there we are that's one side and then the same the other side There's our crane thingy, my what's is added there. So that's one done anyway. I'll do the same on the other side, which is going to be fun. So 12 up again. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then the five rows are 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And the black block. And then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And that side as well. And then we get our iron bars again and start the same process again, which is awfully fun. He lied. Yeah, that's one side for rather painless that one was. Glad I'm doing this on mouse because I couldn't bear doing this with a controller, I'll tell you. Bad enough trying to aim in GTA with a, with a controller. <laughs> there we go. So there's our cranes added there. And then from the uh, front of the first cargo hatch, we're going to add another cargo hatch. So the cranes are done. Back to the cargo hatch. And then we're going to leave a gap of. Uh, what's the second hatch? Oh, an eight block gap so <laughs> from the first hatch. Go okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the ninth block, we do the same design again. So it's nine wide to so a center block, and then one, two, three, four out that way. One, two, three, four out that way. And then nine forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then across the front, like that. And then the central spine, like that. And then add the slabs to cut to cover the, the majority of the hatch over. Like that. And then like that. And like that. There we are. So there's our hatch done. And uh, it don't look too bad. So that's that job done there. So what we're going to do now is add two sets of lifeboats now which are going to go on either side of this deck. And these lifeboats are double stacked so you can't really see them on the prototype side but they're a little bit of an awkward design. Um, la, 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 la. Bear with me a minute. So then what we'll do, we go from the docking bridge, from the pillar of the docking bridge and then we will count forward to the six block forward so one two three four five six and then on the wood go into and then we'll add a, uh, a davit which will be eight high so one two with blocks preferably one two three four five six seven eight and then two and then two in like that and then you're gonna leave uh oh, well how far long are the boats the boats are 11 long so leave a th 11, 12, th leave a 13 gap I think, or go count to the 13th forward, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then out 1, or 2, because the ship's got slightly wider, actually go 1, 4, 1, in, one out, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 2 and 1, and in that gap, because the the, 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 the davits are not in line with each other because of the width of the ship, um, might be able to get an 11 long lifeboat in there. So if we build the keel of the boat, which will be two blocks wide, I think it, sh I think it should be a, a nine long. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to move this lifeboat davit back one again. So if we, build, if we get rid of that one. It was there, wouldn't it? If we move it out 
to that point there, so you've got a bit more of a gap. So as long as you've got the keel, which is nine blocks, and you should have a two block gap before the davit. That's what I'm trying to explain. So you've got a davit, and then a two block gap, and then the bottom of the boat. So the boat's nine blocks, then a two block gap, and then we'll do the davit again. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, and then two like that. So there we are. So I just build the keel again, or well, the other side of the keel. These are only small boats, these ones, they're only finicky, farty ones. So the keel is nine blocks long, two blocks wide, and then we just add two blocks at the front, like that, two blocks at the back, like that, and then along the side, making it look like a sort of bathtub. Like so, and then fill that in with whatever material you're making these out of. Like that. And then on top of that, you just do the same again. So build the lifeboat nine long at the keel and then the same design again on the front and back and sides like that there we go so there's our first set of boats like that and then we'll add our canvas cover which I normally do in blue and I've just thrown that away for no reason okay get blue and just add our canvas cover. It's not Cunard colours, but I like blue nonetheless. I think I prefer most people just use grey because that's more an accurate thing. So now there's grey, uh, the blue on the top, and then the blue on the top of the other boat underneath. Like so. And there we go. So that's the first two boats. What we want to do then is go two or three blocks forward of the first davit. So. Um, of the front davit, so go one, two, three, four blocks forward, and do the same again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, plus two and two, and then leave a two-block gap. One, two, and on the third block, build our boat again. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two-block gap, and build our davit. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus two and two. Now it's the same process again, so it's exactly the same design. We put two boats here, again double stacked, and then do the same on the other side, and then everything should be fine. So what I'll do, I'll do a quick jump cut while I sort this out, because it's just the same repetitive business over and over. So I'll do a jump cut, and then we'll move on from there, so back in a moment. Okay, back again, so that's the lifeboats one in place. We've got four on each side basically, and they're all stacked up like so, and they don't look too bad. One thing I did do which I should not have done was actually I, the original ones on the prototype I put them on a on the on a on the stand I had them raised up so if I go to the prototype you'll see what I mean um, did not take this into account so there's the boats on the prototype and you can see I've added two blocks underneath them to, to raise them up a bit but that's just an optional thing you can correct that if you want to personally I don't really give a stuff <laughs> well I do I mean it is something it's a bit of my, my mistake but it's not a huge disaster so it's just a cosmetic thing. Um, a few more jobs to do on this area is to go from the front of the bri uh, docking bridge, just add a wall up to the first davit there, like so. Add a block there as well. And then from the back of the superstructure on the main deck or the main promenade, just build the wall again up to the other davit. So, to about there, like that. And there you go, that just closes off that area. And do the same the other side. Just click closes off certain areas, that's my phone yeah that was my phone so what was I doing, just building the wall up to the davit like so about there like that, and then we do the same on the other side uh, down by the docking bridge we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 about that I think, wasn't that? yeah there we go so that's the walls done there and that's the docking bridge and that stone area done, so what we're going to do now, move down to the bottom deck um, actually on the back end, underneath the bridge, we're underneath the docking bridge wings, so we can put the handrails across, like so. That covers that off. And then the next deck uh, that covers that area off there. Then on the next deck below, do the same again from one side to the other with the handrails, <coughs> like so. Like that. And there we go. And then on the back of the ship here, on this back deck here, we're going to add a little hatch. So we go down to the back wall of the dock of the superstructure down here and go back about five blocks so one two three four five and put a little hatch about five wide so two that side two that side and then the sides about four one two three four 
one, two, three, four, and then across the back like that. And then what we'll do, I'll make it all flat like that. And then I'll put some slabs in the middle to make it a uh, hatch that way. So hatch cover like that. And then to the side of that, roughly, and I'm just trying to get us trying to see what I'm doing. Uh, we want four vents. So if we go to the side of the front, front of the hatch, go about uh, do about go out about three blocks. One, two, three. Put a, a vent there. One, two, three, four high. One back. See on the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three, four up. One back like that. There we go. So there's those vents there. And then for the back of the cargo hatch, we go back. One, two, three out two one two build another vent one two three four up one out and same the other side two out one two three four up one back like that there we go so there's the details on the back there and then from the back of the superstructure we just add our handrails so uh, what we'll do build our handrails on like this and as before like we did on the front you got the blocks not attaching because the handrails sit on top of the what of the wood as well so remove the wood blocks in the corners and the handrails will attach properly to each section because it's just a little cosmetic thing that annoys me like that like that and there and there and there and there and there, and there. just so all the handrails look uniform like so and then replace uh, build the handrails like so There we go, there's the handrails added there, and that's the stern of the ship done. Marvellous, so that's that job done there. So what I'm going to do now is move on to the ship's lifeboats, and these are the main lifeboats, and these will be the last major thing added to the ship. So we go to the docking bridge on the front of the ship. Um, and what we're going to do, we'll go, so this is the side, this is the left side of the ship. Behind the docking bridge, go down, right down to the bottom, to this wall here. So the, the, the docking bridge got this pillar on the back that curves back, like so, and you've got these two blocks here. What we'll do, we'll go from this wall here, we're going to go to the uh, seven back from there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, to this point here. So you've got a seven block, or a six block gap. And we're going to build the davits. These, these are sort of gantry davits that's attached to the superstructure. So you want to build them three high, so two, three. And then you want uh, two like that, and then inwards one, two, three. Uh, it will become four when you go further out because the ship is slightly wider the further you go back. So at the moment it's two, it's three up, two up, and then three in. But for the rest of this deck it'll be four in. So there we go. So that's our first davit there, and then on top of the superstructure where it attaches, you're going to build up three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then out three. One, two, th two, three. Yeah, have I got this right? Hang on, hang on. Yeah. Oh, yes, three or four. Hang on, three or four. Hang on, am I doing this right? Uh, so it's up three. Th hang on, I'm doing this wrong. I've done this wrong. So it's up three, two, two, and then out four. One, two, three, four, and then down one like that. There we go. That's the design we wanted. So do the same again the other side. So the, the boats, the boats themselves are 11 long. So we want to build. Is it seven gap? Uh, let me try it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on the eighth block, do the same again. So one, two, three up, and then two, um, and then three, and then up. One, two, three, two, two, one, two, three, four, down one like that. And I think that's how it should be. So it should be about. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's nine blocks from the first davit to the second davit. So that's the first two there. And then the lifeboat will sit on these two blocks here. So um, the lifeboat itself, the keel is nine blocks. So it's one, actually start on the outside. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. And then double that in length, like so. And it's the same design as the ones on the other side. So you build the lifeboat bottom nine and then the ends. Like that, four on the end, out the way, and then four on the end that way, and then the sides, like that, and then the other side, like that, and then fill in all the space, like that. And that's 
our first boat. Um, add the colours again. Once again, I use blue wool or carpet. Like so. And these are these are only single stacks. You don't need to double these up. And there we go. There's our first boat added there. And then you're going to want eight. Uh, is it eight of these? Yeah, eight of these on each side. So I'll do the next one along. So I want to believe a, I think it's a three block gap. So one, two, three. And on the fourth block, we'll do the same again. So it's up three, two, three. And then two, and then in three. One, two, three. And then up one, two, three. Two, two, out four. Down one, like that. And then a seven block gap again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the eighth block, do the same again. Two, three, two, one, two, three two three four this time and then up one two three one two one two one two three four down one and there we go that's that boat there um or like gantry and then we'll just put the, the keel of the boat again so two three four five six seven eight nine two three four five six seven eight nine let's build the boat actually get the boat done i won't bother with the coloring just yet i just get the first few boats on So they're all the same design basically. Probably it's an awkward design because of the bloody layout of the, the gantries, but then we have. So anyway, there's boat number two. Then the boat number three again, three block gap. One, two, three on the fourth block. Do the same again. So it's up two, up two, up three, up two. One, two, three, four in. Three, two, two, one, two, three, four down one. Then there's seven block gap again. So eighth block back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up three, two, and then four. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, down one. And then your next boat will go on here again, so just build the keel for this one. Like that, so that's the second boat. Let's build to the end as well, so we've got the space to the right. Space to the right way. Like that. So there's boat number three. And number four will go just back there from there. So another four block, three block gaps. So one, two, three, four. Do the same again. Down one, and the same at seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> and then eight back to there. Three up. <coughs> two up, two, and then one, two. Two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. Down one. And then the eight block, uh, three block gap again. One, two, three. One, two, three up. Two up. And so I get the idea. So I put the next boat on here. They're all in pairs, as you can probably tell. Get on there, there we go. And then the other boat on this side. So you got one, two, three, four boats so far. And then the fifth one I go here, which we've already started the fifth. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there. That's the same process again. So two. Da, 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 da. that's four pairs there five pairs and we just add the next three on so what I'll do I'll do, I'll do a jump cut while I fill in the rest you can sort of get an idea where this is going so yeah, they're all in pairs with a lifeboat attaching each so the lifeboats are 11 long you got one two three four five pairs in so far just carry on till you get eight pairs along the side and then everything should look fine um, so yeah I'll do a jump cut sort that out and then uh, we move on from there so uh, back in a moment Okay, back again. So there's all the lifeboats added there, and that's all eight down on one side. And if you if you're lucky, you probably get a ninth one on there as well. If you if you can think about it, get get one more on there. I have noticed the lifeboats I've done on the prototype are slightly longer, but these ones are more compact. I think these ones maybe work better. 
with the size of the ship. I don't know, it's up to you if you want to improv a bit more and make them a bit longer, but just got to re uh, uh, sort of reposition the davits a little bit. But it's up to you how you want to do that one. But my, my, my boat's here are 11 long, so I think that works out just about right. So that's one side of the lifeboat's done. There's eight this side, and then there's eight this side. So there you go, that's 16 boats there, plus the four down there, so that's 20 boats in total. And it don't look too bad. So that's that job all done there. So the last job for today is to add handrails. So I'm going to go from behind the ship's bridge wings on the top of the superstructure. So the bridge wings are here. Underneath the bridge wings, we'll just start adding the handrails in like so. And these will go between the lifeboat gantries on the top here. And these are one of the problematic jobs that I have because they're so bloody boring. I'll just get these in anyway. So these these ones, like I say, go between the gantries on the upper deck. And that is, is just literally the finishing touches to the ship. And then down to the side like that, and then across the back. Up to the stern, and then down the other side. I use well did it for some of this because it does take a little while. Not decided yet what the next tutorial is going to be. You know, I normally have a rant about that right now. Um, so what I'm going to do replace zero with 101. And there we go, handrails there. And then up to that corner there. And there we go, there's our handrails there. Marvellous. And then on the deck below, on the boat, boat deck, we'll do the same again from this wall here. And then replace the white block there. And then add the handrails in this area. So like I said, I'm not, not decided what the next build's going to be. It may be the Britannia or... I uh, really, don't really know, to be honest. There's something that I ponder. I may just forget the pole and pick one out the hat myself. But we'll see. And then I'll go up to the other side. Put the handrail like so. Around the back. And... Like so, and if you if you if you've seen some of the streams I've done, there are more ships that I have done. We've got the, du the Deutschland, the Vanganella, and the Funchild done, and also the um, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but <laughs> oh, the Kosciuszko. Yeah, I've got the Kosciuszko done. That's the one. Yeah, I can't remember what that was called. Then that was to press the swag request. So the, the Kos there's got four ships more, four more ships to do previews for. So that's, like I say, the Deutschland. The Vanganella, the Funchal, and the Kosciuszko. So that's those three. Another a fourth and a fifth one in progress. So got plenty more tutorials coming up. So that's that. And there we go. There's the handrails added there. And the ship is taking shape and looking quite neat. And I think, I do believe, we can call it quits on this one now. So that is all of the Mauritania done. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it don't look too bad. So that is, like I say, Mauritania done from 1938, and it's been a good build. We've got four videos out of it. It's quite a more complex one than the last few that we've done, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, and so yeah, so thanks for watching all things like that. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that crap. We've also got a link to our website on the video description now, so our proper website is up and running, courtesy of Adzi, and. Um, yeah, that's uh, something to look at as well. So if I give you a quick look at some of the new ships coming up, because I haven't done previews for them, but if we walk to the fun shell first, these are one of the f new four new ships. The fun shell here, which is one of the new bills coming up, and also the uh, Vanganellas in the background. So there's the fun shell. Kind of like a ferry more than a ship, but there we go. That's the fun shell there. So that's that one there. Not a bad looking little vessel. And then next to that is the Vanganella, which is this one here. Bit of an oddball one, but still not a bad looking thing. I think this is an Australian or a New Zealand ship, not sure. But that's the Vanganella there. And then the most popular one out of the four is the, uh, the Deutschland, which is this one here kind of similar to the Kaiser Wilhelm de Grosse, same length almost, well they're not quite the same length, they're not quite the same width, but um, 
very similar in appearance and I think my favorite of the four so this may may be one of the next tutorials I'm not sure but that's the Deutschland there and then the last one which is the Ranganella which we got warp no the Ranganella the um the Kosciuszko uh, warp to the coals and here we are this is the Kosciuszko here there you go here's a Polish ship and also it was renamed one of the Empire ships so that's the uh, Kosciuszko there so that's four of the ships that we've got going and uh, something that's up and coming and also got a few builds over there from Brie <laughs> and there we go that's that one done there also got a couple more being built There's one just in front of the Kosciuszko being done in the distance and also we've got four tugboats in here hidden in the dark so they're sort of hidden away for now until I'm ready to put them on public display and there we go that's uh, the four ships that we have so I'll just quickly walk back to uh, 1938 that's the build we were doing, there's the prototype and there's our build there, so that's the Mauritania all done and like I say thanks for all the support and things like that and uh, hopefully we'll catch you with another tutorial very soon be plenty of live streams soon as well so we shall uh, see how things pan out for that um, but that's our build and I'm quite happy with it so this is Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing and I shall return with another video soon, so uh, bye for now.